Hey guys, Rob from the Offbreed Tiny House. Here's the date, time, temperature, all the fun stuff. My dad gave me a roll of Teflon tape, which I'm going to use. Um, 37 degrees Fahrenheit in here. I didn't bother putting the batteries in the, uh, whoa, batteries in the, um, oh, that's smoky. <laughs> in the outdoor uh, temperature probe. So I got a little fire started and uh, just getting it going. Getting a little smoky in here so I'm gonna pop a window. Um, today we get to Teflon tape the first flush rain catchment system because it is leaking. Probably because it froze um, this at the beginning of winter and was not a good idea to do that. So, always learning at the off-grid tiny house, and uh, always learning about that damn clicky noise, which is annoying as hell. So, Alan's been work hard at work working on that thing, and we will, um, you know, get to the fixing that uh, after I get the important stuff done. Um, that stuff's kind of just annoying at this point. So not too concerned about it other than you guys are going to hate this video because that's all you're going to hear you're going to hear click 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 tap dance city as one of my other commenters loyal subs um mentioned so i'm going to shut the camera down i got to move the composting toilet out of the way um and then we're going to teflon the hell out of these uh threads on this thing see you in a bit all righty guys back here with Rob at the off -grid tiny house. So, in order to stop that clicking nonsense, I just shut off the electric heating pads that were basically just warming the off-grid batteries, which is no problem. Very doable. Just gotta make sure I know where my Teflon is before we're getting started. Here we go. Some Teflon tape. Um, I'm assuming we're gonna have a little bit of moisture in here. We'll find out. I'm gonna Teflon everything. Uh, just the threads, obviously. <sighs> Filter looks still pretty clean. No water in the bowl, because it hasn't really rained. Other than we'll have some little dew drop here. Orifice still see-throughable if that's a word <laughs> and uh, so I'm gonna take this whole tray off now we'll probably get some more water because Oops, that'll do it because <laughs> I'm a klutz and there's the ball everybody knows about that um, I'm gonna Teflon this whole guy here because I don't know if it cracked or not. Cannot tell. Absolutely cannot tell. So, we'll do that first. Um, O-ring bounced right out of there. Which is okay, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Kind of annoying. So we'll just set him in there. We'll start Teflon and the crap out of this sucker. I'm just gonna spool off a big uh, strip here and uh, go around at least a couple times. And hopefully all goes well. And if this doesn't fix it, guys, I don't know what's going to, to be honest with you. Really don't know. Teflon is one of these things that's, uh, what do they call it, a forever chemical? It's in most of everybody's bloodstream because of those nonstick pans that they made with this chemical in it. And it's not a good thing. Can't get rid of it bodies can't process it so fun facts about Teflon and used in plumbing as you can tell now 
while this is down here, before I put this back on the Teflon, I'm going to Teflon around here too. Um, hopefully that's enough Teflon. I can put more if I need to, but hopefully that's enough. I'll do the small little guy first. Whoopsie. There goes the O-ring again. Just wonderful. Um, probably the crappiest Teflon job I've done. But, I've got to stop the nonsense with these leaks. What do you guys think? I think so. Got to capture the rainwater, not piss it all over the tiny house floor. I think everybody's in agreement to that. Right? <laughs> I'm going to do another slick on here. Uh, another big ass separate piece. Just because I don't trust that. All right. Go to the upper level, kind of, because that's where it kind of was leaking, as far as I could tell. Yeah, if you guys ever watch the movie Dark Waters, if you ever get a chance, it's all about Teflon, and it's nasty. The, sh the crap that the government allows these corporations to do insane so we're gonna put this on and I'm gonna crank it and hopefully no more nonsense right guys because this thing has been giving me a pain in the you know what for a long time Oh, that's pretty tight. I don't don't think I can get any tighter than that. And I just messed up. I didn't put the ball in. Gotta have the ball for the first flush system to work. And you can put this in after the fact. Just so you know. So the ball goes in on this beast. Oh, that goes up even better now that it's been threaded in. Good. So now, filter goes up here. And the little orifice goes on this part. And you bring the little nut up. And you crank that in. And hopefully, all will go well here. Except that the Teflon's going the wrong direction on the bottom. But hopefully it'll work. I didn't really have leaks there. It was mostly up here. And I think that was because I let it freeze, which is no good. So I'm going to leave this Teflon here. My dad said I could keep it because he's got lots. So that's sweet. You got to love that. So thanks, Dad. And we will see if this finally solves the water leak issues at the off-grid tiny house. I hope so. But I'm gonna leave this bucket here because, um, or not a bucket, but a pan, stainless steel pan, because I was using this, uh, the last time I was here, guys, if you've been following my channel, it was about half full. First time, it was totally full and overflowed a bit, about a cup of water onto the floor. No good. So hopefully this Teflon fix fixes it and I don't have to touch it again because um, basically the only thing I got to touch is cleaning this orifice in the filter and I shouldn't have to ever touch this guy again um, hopefully um, because in the future I'm just gonna put the little heater heater mat on here and uh, that will keep this thing from freezing up on us and that's kind of the most important part so that part's done now i gotta get busy cleaning the tiny house up guys because you see how disaster zone it is and uh yeah that's got to be fixed so see you out there